Welcome back. Uh, how is everybody doing? I hope everyone had a good break there. Greg and I got a quick drink, and um, now we're back ready to start our playthrough of Greg's game, Spire's End. So um, for any late arrivals, what we're playing in tonight is Vorpal Board. Uh, Greg and I are across the country from each other. I'm in New York, Greg's in California, and we're going to be playing a physical copy of his game. I'm, I have the copy here with me. It's actually directly to my left off camera. Um, and then we're also going to be using components that I've scanned into the game. So these player components um, and these little cubes are scanned in items. And so um, Greg and I will be able to interact in this system um, and then play the game together. So uh, I think we're just going to get going. The way that the game starts is you have your deck um, sitting here. It says begin here on it, obviously. And all the cards are numbered. And we're going to make our way through this deck of cards. And the cards give directions. Sometimes they say move on to the next card. Sometimes they have you move five or six cards forward. Sometimes they have you pull cards out and reveal them from later in the deck. Um, you know, we'll probably run into all three of those scenarios. And then um, when we get into combat, we're going to be doing a lot of dice rolling. And, um, and kind of making bets on how much damage we want to try to do and um, how much health we want to suffer for all these various attacks that we can do. But we'll explain it as we go along. So the first thing to start with is we, uh, we pull a card, and this sort of sets up our scene for the game. And um, we're not going to read all the text on the cards, but you can see in Vorpal Board, um, if you hover on these, you can actually, you know, remote players could actually um, read the cards if they, if they see fit. Um, but essentially, we have a spire that shoots out of the ground, um, and we're going to go investigate. We're gonna we're gonna go see what's going on. I don't know if we really are supposed to know, Greg, if it's bad or good. It's just unknown. Well, everyone's disappeared, so it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe where they went is like a really cool but, spire party. Oh yeah, yeah, it could end up really great. But yeah, everyone's gone except for twelve people. So. Yeah, they're, they're kind of wondering where everyone went. This thing shot up out of the ground, and um, yeah. And then we just so, gotta, we got to go find out. we got to go see what's happening. Yeah, we gotta, we, have to, we have to see what's going on. So as you can see, we, we grabbed what weapons we had. I'm going to play as Dane, and Greg's going to play as Millicent. You can see that um, I have strapped boards with nails. It looks like hot nails or maybe even blood-covered nails to my boards, and we're going to get in there, and we're going to mess some people up. Uh, if 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 it's not a party, could be a party. We're not sure yet. Yeah, so. that's you know we were hoping for a party, but yeah. And then and then we reveal um, card two, and um, and card two just sets up more of the story. Um, and we're not gonna we're not gonna slow down to kind of go over it. But essentially, you find uh, you find a um, you find a note, and we are going to. It, it tells you to read the instruction book here. You know, like it says if, before you go on, go through the instruction deck. Um, which, because I'm responsible, I did before we got on the stream. All right. So here we go. This is where we start running into stuff in the spire. And you can see this card number three. It's called the Dorman. And uh, here, here's what it says, if you can't read it on stream. You approach the door with a cautious step. I warn you, it's worse in there than you think. And you've imagined the unimaginable, no doubt, says an unfamiliar voice. A small creature reveals himself from behind the door. He is unkempt, a little worse for wear. His eyes appear kind. What are you? You've never seen this creature before. I've always been close, but you people are far too involved with yourselves to notice. We live right beneath you. Only this thing here is from much, much deeper, he mutters, looking up at the spire. What do you know about this, you ask, hopeful? I'm going to move Greg out of the way here. Uh, I've squirreled around. These underdwellers have horrible red eyes. They move silently and quickly. He stops and sniffs the air. I must go. With that, he scampers off into the spire. You move to follow him when you see it. Red eyes cutting through the darkness. And here we go. Right off the bat, we're going to go to battle, which is great. Um, and these red cards, um, I think, are all the enemies red cards? Is that going to be a standard, Greg? Yeah, when you hit red, that means... Um... Yeah, that means an enemy. Okay, cool. There's a few times when it's not red because it's because I didn't want you to make a decision ah. based on the fact that you see that the next guy is an enemy. So depending upon how I want to mess with the story, I but for the main bosses, they're all in red. Okay. 
Until until you put a boss in there that you don't want people to know about before they run into it. <laughs> sure, yeah. it hasn't happened, but yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm just yanking your chain. Okay, so um, and then what this card does is, um, and and you'll see the game kind of tries to hold your hand um, in in your first playthrough here. So essentially, it gives you a picture of how you want to set things up. We're playing it digitally and remotely, so like it's going to look a little bit different for us. But um, but here's our first <clears throat> our first battle, and so we proceed to um the next card which will show us the first enemy that we're going to go up against and here i'll orient you a little bit to the cards so in the top left corner you can see the health and armor of whoever the um character is you can see the same thing on our cards as well so the doorman has 10 health and four armor and then what you see is hit the uh, actions that are available to him and there's going to be two main phases that we're dealing with, actually three phases that we're dealing with. The first phase is we do an action, and usually that means we're going to either attack or we're going to rest. And then the second phase, we do what's called the recoup phase, where we can regain some of our health, um, even if we didn't rest, but resting will make recoup phase a little bit easier. And then the final phase is where we do um, upkeep phase, and that will just deal with effects that might be on us. So maybe we're bleeding or maybe we're heavily armored, and that might only last one, two, three rounds. So during the upkeep phase, you're kind of just doing upkeep, uh, making your character bleed if, if they're supposed to, etc. cetera. Um, so for the doorman, he has a recoup that will tell us what numbers he has to roll to get his health back, or he has all these different actions that he can do. Um, some of them not so dangerous, like Slash, for example. Some of them extremely dangerous, like Key Burst, that's gonna do a ton of damage, um, and uh, I'll show you as we fight him how it, he chooses what actions he's going to take. Um, and so that's how all of us are structured. Um, these are all the actions I can take over here. These are the actions that Greg's going to be able to take over here. Um, and we'll just do each of the allies gets a turn, and then the enemy gets a turn, and so forth until either we're all dead or he's dead. And if he dies, then we get some choices as to where we want to go. So... Um, because it's oriented this way on the screen, we'll start with Dane, and then we'll go to Millicent. Um, and I'm going to move myself here so you guys can see the zoom in. Um, so I now, as my action, I'm going to uh, choose what I want to do to attack. And actually, let me lay out, before we start, let me lay out uh, the doorman's health. This is 6, 8, 10, and he's got 4 armor. Okay. So that's all of the Dorman's armor and health. Um, and that's how we'll keep track of, uh, of his details. We're going to keep track with these little cubes on our end. Um, OK, so now I get to make some choices here. Um, I can choose any of these actions, 0 through 4. This black one at the end is what happens if I die, which hopefully doesn't happen. But um, these numbers indicate how much health I have to give up in order to take that action. So I could decide, oh, I'm not going to give up any health, and I just want to do a regular punch. But what you'll notice is, in order to do any damage, I have to roll a 5 at least. Um, and if I roll a 5 through 7, I do 1 damage. If I roll an 8, which of course is the least likely, or only, uh, only one number, uh, I can do 1 damage, and then I'm going to do a status effect of A. And if I look down here at the status effects, uh, I actually get a surge for an ally. So I will get a surge effect on myself. Um, and so this is great. Uh, but it, it really isn't going to do much damage, right? So when I was talking earlier about the gambling portion of this, you can look down and say, oh, maybe I'll gamble two health, and I have a chance of doing a lot of damage if I roll numbers, right? So that's what I'm going to do, because we're gambling. And I'm going to get, I'm going to do Bloodlet, which is a two. And so in order to do that, I'm going to take away two of my health, and then I'm just going to roll a d8. And I rolled a three. And then I look here... <laughs> It's, it's oh, good. No, you're it's good. good. It's good. It's so, good. So I do three damage. So that's what this square is. This is the damage I'm going to do. And um, armor, you have to get through the armor first before you start hitting his health. And so I'm going to take away three of his armor because I did three damage. And if I had rolled high enough here, so here's my bloodlet. It's, you know, I, I rolled a three, so I'm going to do three damage. If I had rolled an eight, there's a little blood icon over here, and that's called a kickback. I would have gotten one health back. So at all the eights you see, if you happen to roll an eight, that's really advantageous because you get a little bit of your health back as a bonus. But I didn't get one of those. 
So that's my action phase, and then I'm gonna do the recoup phase. And um, I, the only things that I can do in my recoup phase are either heal or cleanse. And um, I'm gonna do a heal, and we're gonna see what I get. I rolled a seven, which is great. I get two health back. So that move was free for me, which is just fantastic. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, so that's my whole turn. Um, if I had to do any upkeep right now, this is when I'd do it. And now Greg's going to act. All right, let's see here. So, yeah, we're in good shape. You're back to normal. So I'm just going to go big. Mm. And I'm just going to go for the soap barrage right off the bat here. Awesome. So will they leave me with... <laughs> Leave me with one hit point because uh, you just, you know. You got to do it sometimes. Go yep. It's funny because I, I play with people and no one ever does that. They're just, everyone's so timid and it's just like, you got to go. Yeah. So because, I, I'm uh, always curious when I play with a designer of a game to see how they play, right? Because you've probably played this a lot of times. So I was wondering, is he going to show me yeah. that I should be betting huge? And it seems like maybe the answer is yes. Well, it, it isn't. It isn't. I usually will bet, well, because I usually play it two, so I'll usually bet big with one and leave someone else maybe in the middle. Okay. So I, I don't bet big on both usually, but um, okay. So when I roll the dice, is it gonna roll two? Let's see. Um, it probably will um, if that's what you did last time. But you could open up the dice drawer and um, okay, and change it back to one and then hit roll dice. How do I do that? Oh, okay. In the dice drawer, you'll yep. see D eight, uh, and then there's a bunch of numbers, and you would just select one. It, it should it probably has two selected right now. I see you roll dice, it just has one die underneath it. Does that mean it's going to do one? Um, well, hit roll dice. Let's see. I did it. All right, here, let's do this. That's kind of weird. It didn't come through to my side. That's my roll. Oh. I, no, I just, I just did that one. Um, oh, okay. Maybe you'll have to do it. Yeah, well, so on the screen, like when you expand the dice drawer, Mm -hmm. um do you see dice bag and then some dice yeah. inside your dice bag i don't oh okay so do add all the bag we had you refresh and i think that pulled them out remember when we did the refresh okay there? there we go all yeah. right yep. yep so then you can do one d8 and zero okay. d6s so, and d12s i will do that cool i, I ruined the whole momentum oh there. man yeah i know that's all right all right, so roll the name. Ooh. Oh, we just rocked this guy. Yeah. All right, so um, so it's six damage. Yep. And we also did stun, and I got a kickback. Okay. So, so that's one, good stuff. So I'll take my two, three, one three, hit point back. Five, six. Okay, so I took six damage off. You take the one hit point back, and then we stun him. And so the way that I've been doing this, I don't know what, what, what kind of generally you do is like, I've been putting yep. blue, blue tokens exactly. on them as kind of a bad, if it's a bad effect mm -hmm. and then uh, a yellow one, if it's a good effect. So um, for folks watching at home, there is this status effects card. It's just, it's in the instructions and um, I can look through and see what, what stun is. And you can see that stun is cannot attack next turn. So this guy is in trouble, folks. <laughs> yeah, this is um, yeah, we we've stomped him. This this is the first guy, you know. So he's supposed to be introductory and, and a little bit easy. I don't know. So. I, I you know the first time I played the game, I think he took down one of my heroes. I think it was because I just didn't really. I was like punching all the time. I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> and because I thought, oh, I got to be real conservative um, with my health, and that that did not work out for me. Um, okay, so so he doesn't get to do anything. Um, I was going to ask, because I had this happen earlier today, does he still flip a card for his action even though he doesn't get to attack, or does it just continue, no. completely skip him? Okay, completely skip him. No, he's, yeah, he's done. Yeah, but um, if he's stunned, he still does his recoup. Okay. Because he just, a stun only removes his attack. Got it. Okay. So, and now he doesn't actually, his recoup, he can do a heal here, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just roll for him. And we yeah, got to hope for a ro low roll, baby. A four. So he does recoup because, one, yeah. one health. All right. Okay. So. So we need to pull off his stun. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me pull that off because that was in digital space. I actually should have, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just put it in, 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 in real world space. So one of the things that can happen when you're in Vorpal board, right, is like you forget which way you're keeping track of things. Um, and 
you do something in the real world and something in digital, and then you start getting confused. But I'll I'll do all the enemy stuff in the real world, and then we'll do the ally yeah, stuff in digital. Works too. worked great for me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so it's my turn, and he has six health left, and I feel like. I mean, you're you're sitting pretty. I know, I know, I know. Don't try to. You're you're. you're I can feel it already. You're trying to I, pressure me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am gonna do. I'm gonna do a split fist. Because uh, I want to be able to, if he survives, do a two point attack next time. So I'm gonna do the split fist. Um, and and I'm gonna play it a little bit carefully. So that's a three. Um, you'll see this star here. So if I roll a three through five, the damage I do is whatever I rolled when it's a star. So like if I roll a five, it'll be five damage. Um, and then you'll see what happens with six, seven, and eight. So we're going to see how we do. Seven. Holy wow. smokes. All right. So we did five damage. So he's down to one. He's down to one. Wait, he's done. Yeah, this guy is cooked. His goose is cooked. All right. So then I'm going to do my recoup. I rolled a three, which doesn't get me any recoup whatsoever. Uh, all right, so you're up, Greg. Okay, let's see here. Um, well, I mean, I only have two hit points. Um, but I am going to just assume that I'm going to that I'm going to kill him. <laughs> so I'm going to spend one. All right. I'm going to spend one, and I'm going to roll. And let's just hope this works out. There Jeez, we go. Holy moly. We're rolling, we're rolling huge. Yeah, so, it's yeah, so he's gone. All right, he's dead. He's gone. The doorman is uh, toast. All right, cool. Um, Didn't even put up a fight. Yeah, so so I got a, I got a comment from uh, the chat that I was supposed to get one health back, but I don't think so, right? I rolled a three. Right? Yeah, heal, heal is four to you, six. You get one back. I, wait, I mean, wait, wait. So what am, I, what am I looking at here? You rolled a... I rolled a three during on... my recoup phase, right? I swear I rolled a three. Oh no! I got it on the action. I got I got a kickback on my action. Oh, you're right. You're right. That was my bad. I forgot the kickback. Look, people that's are, funny. People are paying attention, man. They're really they really got the eyeballs peeled. That's good. Uh, okay, so the good news is since he's dead, we're gonna get all our health and our and our armor back anyway in between encounters. Um, yeah, everything so, reset. So so he is he is cooked. So the next thing we do is we just Oops, go, sorry. Oh, that's fine. We, I rolled on accident. We advance to um, card six. So we did it, gang. All right, your first victory. We increase ally armor thresholds by one. So what this is, is it tells you to, this is an example of when the game tells you to pull a card later in the deck. Now, I have already pulled this card from later in the deck, and I hid it over here so that you guys couldn't see it. So I'm just going to bring it back in. And what this card is, is it's a way for us to essentially um, keep bonuses. Um, and so we can increase this track on armor by one. And what that does is we would just make a copy of this armor square and we'll put it right here. And so what that does is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Greg, we just get a plus one all the time to our armor count. Yeah, it's a cumulative progression chart. Okay. Try to make it as simple as possible. And I wanted to have something that you earned. So, yeah, this is more or less the entirety of the progression of the game. Cool. And so that means our starting armor will increase. So I'm going to go up to four here. Mm -hmm. And then I will have my same six health. So I'll just sort of reset. I'll move. I'll, I'll take care of mine. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So I'll, uh, I'll read my little flavor text here. The creature is bleeding on the floor facing you. He shifts a bit, still alive. What have you done with them? That's us, I assume. You know it understands, regardless of what language it speaks. Around him are keys, at least ten of them. Some are chained to him, others loose. Two keys are directly in front of you. It could be your imagination, but it looks like one is beginning to move. Which sounds kind of creepy. So, guys, we have, we have three choices here. We can finish him off and take everything. We can leave him and let's take what he has and move on. Or we can try to take him captive. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to let the chat decide. So I know what I want to do, but I'm not going to say a word. And we'll wait like 30 seconds. And chat, what should we do? Should we kill him? Should we leave him? Or should we take him captive? 
All right, we got one vote mm. for captive. Not my choice. Yeah, these, this guy's disgusting. I don't want him around us. Uh oh, if, it, if the only vote we get is for captive, we're going to be headed in that direction. That's fine. You know, it's a, it is a choice. Yep. Up two captives. What, what a bunch of uh, lightweights here. Yeah, all right. All right. This guy took our entire town. Yeah, seriously. Or at least we think. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> Maybe he took him oh, to a party on the oh, lowest level. All right. All right. I see all what we're doing here. All right. So we're going to take him captive. We're going to do it. We're taking him captive. Okay. So we have to reveal card nine. So you see, like, this is essentially how the mechanic works. We would either go reveal card seven, card eight, or card nine. So we're going to reveal card nine. I'm going to do that now. Without, without looking at card seven and eight. Yep. So what I do is I just move them over without turning them over. Yeah, I just grab all three and then flip them. Oh, you you move them off. I I sort of I just uh, I keep them face oh, down, but moved in and flip them. Yeah, but your your way actually probably would be smarter. But but I'm a I'm a I'm a goofball, so that's the way I do it. All right, so um, this is kind of gross because I've I've taken ca taken captive before. So uh, you take action and lop off his hands. The creature drops to his knees. All right, so we're gonna roll one d eight. And then uh, stuff will happen. So you want to do it, Greg? You want to do the honors? Sure. Let's do this. Let's All right. So roll that. A one. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. You pull him up by the wrist. His blood splatters on your hands. It burns, and you fall back. The creature has escaped. Thanks a lot, chat. All right. So we we would have um, actually gotten a bag of blood as a reward if uh, if we had Could. rolled a five, six, seven, or eight. So it would have been handy. Yeah. Oh, yikes. <laughs> that's a pun. That's that's a, that's a rough one. Um, okay, so we advance to uh, card 13. All right, so I'll just move those off the edge. No, I actually am. I'm going to do it my way. All right. That's very sad. Okay, so we move on. Let's see, guys. We move past the, uh, the doorman. All right, sunbeams pump punch through dusty air onto the back wall. The light blazes a hot orange in between two corridors. There are signs of a struggle. A dead underdweller is lying face down in front of you with some overturned furniture. Glowing red blood trails along the floor haphazardly toward the left. So remember that, blood to the left. You suddenly feel warm, humid air hit the back of your neck. Something tall and thin darts through the sunlight. You wait a moment and brace yourself for an attack, but none comes. In the midst of this chamber's stark isolation, you hear a hum. There is a small flicker of light from the left corridor, and the humming increases. The orange rays of sunlight start to fade away as the morning begins to pass. This room, or the room, grows dark. All right, so you should move along. We're either going to follow the tall, thin creature into the corridor on the left, or we're going to avoid mysterious creatures in the dark, and we'll go to the corridor on the right. What say you, chat? I need to show off the art while people are uh, while people are making. Votes. See, what I tried to do was on the card have the blood splatter from right to left. Oh wow! See what, okay. I, see what, I, yeah. see what I did there? Yep. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I you know I wouldn't have noticed that, so I'm glad you're here. All right, so we have one vote for left. This one's like a coin flip. We either got left or right. I don't know about fo following a tall, thin creature. I'm not sure I'm excited about going in that direction. Uh, do uh, I, I guess I shouldn't choose. It's probably not the yeah, not, not the right choice. All right, left it's going to be. So we're All headed right, to the left. Go. We're going to reveal card 14, which is the next card. Okay. Oh, too late. If that's Steve, too late, Steve. Coming in with a, with a long, with a late vote. Uh, He's a cheater. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, it, the card is called Reflections, and we can see some tall kind of creepy mirrors here that have the same symbols that we've kind of been seeing throughout this whole game in, in the Spire. Uh, the left corridor, wait. Can you actually put the... Okay, no, never mind. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, we went left, not right. Um, sorry, what were you asking, Greg? No, nothing. You, oh, okay. Go ahead. 
Uh, all right, so I, I got confused there. I thought we had gone right for a second. Okay, the left corridor reveals a small circular room with rows of benches facing three narrow, tall mirrors. As you enter, an underdweller is passing through the center mirror as if it were a wall of water. The surface ripples as his body slides through. The room hums for a moment, then the mirror's reflection snaps back into place and the sound abruptly stops. Up close, the mirrors looked ordinary, reflections and all. You take a deep breath and put a hand on the surface. It's warm to the touch, but solid. Whatever occurred here is beyond reason. You see nothing else of interest. After inspecting the surfaces of all three mirrors, you head back to the other corridor. And then in, in backwards text, it says, he is on the other side. Something lurks. All right, so we have two options here. Oh, Steve said there's a delay on his end, so um, it wasn't his fault. Sorry, Steve. Uh, all right, so I think I hear something or not, nah, it's nothing. So we can either discard or reveal 15, 16, or 17 and discard the other two. So if we think we hear something, or we can do not nah, nothing, and then we reveal card 21. So we'll give chat a little bit of time to see if they think they hear something or they just don't hear anything. And I'll kind of just show off some more of the up close stuff. <laughs> you hear something yeah <laughs> i feel like i and i i, I you know I'm, I'm gonna admit something to you, here, to you here greg i did not i'm such an idiot i did not make the connection between the silk weaver and like that being a big like needle until oh. you were in the middle of explaining it I, I figured it out before you said the words but i was like wait a second i think that might actually be a needle and then yep so i can't believe i didn't make that connection but now I did. Oh, I, 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 it's one of those things where I don't know if anyone's ever going to, you know what I mean? It's, well, you I, don't, hide, I don't know what people pay attention to or not. Like every picture has a key in it. Yep. Of, of a character. And there are the keys. Bad guys and good guys. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't see it on the twins. I'll have to look at, oh, I shouldn't have said anything. I didn't yeah, see it on the, uh, on the card that I didn't mention. Um, okay, so it looks like we all, we're hearing something. Everybody we're, we're all hearing it. I hear it. Yep, I hear it too. So um, <laughs> let's just uh, choose at random. I'm just going to say 16. All right, I'm just going to choose. And, and that's not really random because I just chose it, but we're going to go with card 16. So we're going to reveal card 16. Let's see what we're dealing with here. And this is one of those cases where the enemy was not on a red card. He was on a black card. And this guy is an under snail. It's true. Yeah, for the um, for the trash mobs, I decided to just kind of leave it. Yep. So that they weren't in red. Yeah, and um, I think I think that's fine because then you would have known, right? You would have seen that card sure. sixteen was going to be an enemy. Um, okay, so um, this guy's kind of interesting. Um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to give him four health and three armor. You know what's funny is Steve or Greg, we didn't even um, we didn't even get to show the enemy attack when we fought the dormant. <laughs> he didn't even get an attack before he died because he's. I know him. sometimes, yeah, it's it's it can go one. Sometimes it can go real tough, and especially on those first guys. But yeah. you know that's fine. Okay, so this this has some special rules. So sometimes at the bottom here, there's some special rules, and in this case, um, when the encounter begins, allies suffer exhaustion for two turns. And under snail does not use attack cards. So um, we didn't discuss the attack cards, but generally on other enemies um, in the game, they can draw these attack cards, which tell you, it, it, it's just the way for the game to choose what action the enemy will take. Um, and so this would be that the enemy is taking the, the one action, but this under snail doesn't. Um, he's just gonna do his standard attack, his squirt action. And then uh, he has a recoup action as well um and if you defeat the under snail we'll go to card number 19. so um let's get them i'm gonna shuffle these attack actions back in yeah shouldn't be a problem yeah we should be able to destroy it this dude usually just goes so i'm gonna i'm gonna start but i have died oh really I have died <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well i mean if happened. you get a couple of bad rolls you know it could happen yeah. okay so i'm gonna do my my standard my standard start and my standard start has always just been to start with a bloodlet and I'm going to do so two and then just sort of see where the fight takes me. Oh man. Rolls the eight. Wow. 
So we are just rolling it tonight. I'm going to move him up a little bit. Okay, so an eight hits him for three. It gives me a kickback. And then it also does the B effect. And B is bleed for one turn on the enemy. Oh, except we were supposed to be exhausted, weren't we? Yeah, we're exhausted. Oh, yeah, oh, we're yeah exhausted no recoup. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Um, so I'll actually put these two. I don't think we're going to need them. I don't think we have to worry no, about No, we're not going to need them. He's almost dead anyway. Um, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rule follower now because I, I heard how you talked about people who weren't rule followers earlier yes. in our conversation. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so we just did um, eight. So we did uh, three damage, and he's bleeding. So all of his armor is gone, and then he is currently bleeding. And I'm going to do a recoup roll. I recouped uh, my one health, so I'm back to normal again. And then for my upkeep, I'm going to remove one of... Oh, no, I don't get a recoup because I was exhausted. I'm trying to cheat here. And then I'm going to remove one of my exhaustion tokens, and you're up, Greg. Okay. Um, I'll just go... Let's see. I'll do a three attack, which is a net snare. And we'll just roll for it. All right. I mean, and I got a actually... six on the net snare, which does five, and he's gone. Woo! One of these times we're going to see an enemy attack. I know. I swear this it. has been unusually easy. Uh, okay, so he's dead, um, and then we're moving right on to reveal card 19. So. Yeah, he does squirt on you. That's his, uh... Yeah. That's I, I, I kind of wish he had. You know, I was, I was hoping for it, but... Okay, so 19... Let's see what we got. So this says shell collecting. The snail slinks forward, lifeless, and its shell gently slifts to shifts towards you. Its vibrant spirals of orange and yellow draw you in and seduce your mind. For a moment, the shell seizes your thoughts and sends you away drifting. Reveal an action card. So let's see what we got, gang. Wait a second. Oh, my hand's still in there. Sometimes I can get the hand out quick enough that you, you don't see it. All right, one. Um, all right, so you struggle to rip off the shell, and eventually you pry it apart. It's yours. And so our reward is a snail shell. Uh, if we had pulled some worse action, we, uh, and we would have shattered the snail, and we wouldn't have gotten it. So now we get to equip this card, and we reveal card 21. So the way that equipping works is you take these cards, and at the bottom you can see the details of the item, of the loot. And all you do is you take the cards. If we were both playing phys or physically, we'd take this card and sit it underneath our character card um, just with the loot part exposed on the bottom. So it's kind of a cool way to keep track of your, of your items without taking up too much space on the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to real-time scan this card into the game because um, we might as well show what that looks like. And... Man, if we had good luck. easy fights. Yeah, really good luck so far. So, so I mean, here's it's our... Been, I almost feel bad that it's been the... But, you know, it is the first guys. Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't feel bad. I think, uh, you know, we're just playing so well, you know? Well, it just, it, it'd be cool to see some of the... Uh, some of the status effects in play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually start taking some damage from these guys. Oh, so we didn't even talk about who was going to get this, Greg, but I, I just put it under myself. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, it's it's kind of arbitrary. I mean... And so this is the effect know, that I remember. can... Yeah, the effect that I can get out of this is uh, I can spend one health to do a brain swirl, and I that can be used as a second action once per turn, and if I roll a seven or an eight, it puts a confusion on the guy. Um, and so that's what, it, that's what the shell looks like right there. So this is something that I can do um, during a fight, if I want to confuse the enemies, um, but it's kind of hard to pull off because I have to roll a seven or an eight. Yep. So it's kind of a risk reward thing. Um, and then you can look at what confusion is, and but confusion is a very powerful status effect. So that's why it's so expensive because the character will attack themselves, which is uh, something that would really help you out if you can pull it off. So, okay. And now we move on to card 21. All right. And I, I kind of gave this away earlier, but uh, this is the twins, is the card. 
Two giant pillars mark the entrance to the corridor. Obsidian tile stretches in every direction. It's dark, unsettling, and uncomfortably warm. As you cross the chamber floor, two dark forms appear from either side. They slide towards you with supernatural speed, as if pushed by a sudden and violent wind. They attack in unison. All right, so we're going to roll one die eight to have sort of a bad thing happen. These dudes are charging <laughs> us. Uh, I don't think any of the outcomes are necessarily good, um, but I will roll. Let's see no, what one get. of them is. Oh, is one if of them good? Well, yeah, a seven or eight, you'll actually hurt them. Oh, yeah, I guess or, I never. Or they suffer, they suffer intimidate. Intimidate, yeah, I never, I've never pulled that off. Um, so let's see, maybe, maybe tonight we'll do it. Four. All right. So the masked figure on the left makes the first move. Three swift punches strobe your chest. An ally suffers two damage to start the encounter. So I'll take the two damage because I have more total health. Well, well, we're supposed to actually roll, and then a one through four. Oh, okay. You, oh, we and don't then a choose. five okay. through eight, it would be me. All right, let's see. And it's you. So it's me. Bummer. All right, okay. So, um, yeah, okay, so I take two damage. All right. Grab this could be uh, the time when we have some troubles. We're going to pull it out. We're going to do it. I can feel it. All right. And then we reveal cards 22 and 23. So 22 is, again, if you remember last time, we had kind of that setup card that shows you details of how to set up. Um, and uh, many of the twins' actions occur twice. And so there's this little kind of like double attack icon. And on those double attack icons, um, they're going to roll two uh, dice. So they're going to roll two attacks and do it on the same target. Um, so there, these guys can do a lot of damage if you get some bad rolls. And then as you battle the twins, you actually lay out their action cards um, in a row instead of just playing them on top of each other. And then if you get any of these combinations, 5-5 five, five, or 6-6, six, six, then you reveal card 24. So this is kind of a cool wrinkle, um, which I think hopefully shows off where like the combat can be variable depending on who you're, what, you know, what bosses you're fighting or whatever where strange things can happen um, during the match. And if we run into any five fives or six sixes, we will, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. So uh, here we go. Here are the twins. And one of the things we didn't mention at the very beginning with the doorman was he has this like antenna thing. Um, and these guys are the same way. They have these antenna uh, that almost, they remind me of like um, those deep sea fish. Mm -hmm. They have a little light, little light, light bulbs on their heads um, yeah and then they both have a split mask so their mask looks just like um the mask from the damage cards um and uh, i don't know what the what the um significance is of that mask but i assume that we'll, we'll find out someday uh all right so here we go i am going to uh i'm just going to keep doing it i'm going to do my thing i'm going to start with a bloodlet let's see how we do Five. So that only does three damage. Oh, I forgot to prime our damage here. So here's their armor. Six. Have you identified already, Greg? Like um, the the type of physical components you want to include, like um, like the types of cubes you want to do, and that sort of stuff. These I pulled from um, from Pandemic, if, if you're curious. I mean, those are th those are literally. It was just the gray and the red eight millimeter cubes. Is what I. That's what I've been using. Okay. The exact same. The literally the exact same ones. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like these kind of like translucent ones. I think they look neat. Um, that's nine, ten. Okay, so yeah, these guys are. Yeah, yeah I literally here. It's oh yeah, same, look at that. Same ones. Yeah. Um, Pandemic changed their cubes. They used to be wood, and then they changed them to these um, acrylic ones. I'm not sure why they why they did that. Um, okay, so I did. Uh, I believe I did three damage. And whoa, OneDrive just decided to tell me that it is not signed in. Thank you very much, OneDrive. Uh, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I did my three damage, um, and it, we start with damaging their armor. I'm going to do the recoup. I get a five which gives me one back. You're up, Greg. All right. Well, I'm going to, I mean, I only have three, and I'm, uh, oh, boy. 
he's a little tougher and he has an action that can make us attack each other. So if he does that, I'm going to get wiped out. So I'm probably, I think I'm going to just do one. Okay. So let's do that. And I got a two and I am not in a good place. So I didn't get anything. I'm going to roll for my recoup. I got a one. Ugh. Worst case scenario, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Yep. So that's where I stand. Okay. It's um, it's time for the twins to do their yeah, thing. Let's do that. So this card, I think you accidentally picked up. So we're gonna. Oh, what I do? Yeah, so there's a concept in Whirlpool Board where you can pick stuff up to make it exclusive to you. So if you uh -oh. click an item, like I'll show you what it looks like. I, I made that mine. So now it has a, oh, I see. a purple bar. Um, okay. So sorry. Reset that guy. Okay. Um, all right. So now we get to see um, we get to see an enemy attack us here, and the way that's going to work is um, first we're going to roll to see who he's attacking, uh, and he is attack or they are attacking me, uh, and then we find out what attack they're going to use, and let's see if we get lucky. It's going to pull an eight. No. One, so we got okay. a little bit lucky, uh, and so he's doing a twin, or they're doing a twin punch, so they do two die rolls, and then if they get the only way they hit is if they get a five through an eight. Um, so we'll play it. So I roll if they're attacking you, and you roll if they're attacking me. So then we don't have to kill okay. ourselves. So I'll do it. Okay. So that would be one hit, yeah. and that is going to hit me for one, and then the two. So one, right. I got one damage. So we'll just pull that armor off. So that wasn't That's bad. where I stand. No, nope. and, and then, uh, yeah, they don't get a recoup because they have full health. So it's your turn. Okay, so let's see. I have five health. I still have my all my armor. Man, we got to get going on these guys. Yeah, just just do it. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do a split fist again. I had good luck with that. So I'm going to do three. And let's see how that goes. Come on, baby. I right. should do a brain. I should do a brain swirl. You want me to do a brain swirl? Try to confuse. Well, them? we'll next the next time if we make it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So I rolled a five. Um, so I think with the with the split fist that actually does five damage. So that okay. His armor's armor. gone. So that's a good start. And then I can do it as a second. I can do a brain swirl as a second action, right? You you can. Yeah. But it's going to leave you with one. Yeah. All right, oh, we'll wait. We'll wait one turn. We'll see how. We'll well, see I mean, yeah, for yeah, let's wait one turn. Yeah. Okay. So um, then I'm gonna do a recoup, and I got a five, which brings me back one. So I'm in a better position. I should have brain swirled, and um, and <laughs> now uh, you're up. All right. Let's do some damage. Um, I can't. Oh yeah. Can't. <laughs> so um, what I, I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna rest for a turn. Okay. Cool. So that's this is a good opportunity so, to talk about rest. So basically, um, yeah, if I rest, it doesn't take any, it, it, uh, I don't have to spend any, you know, hit points, no exertion. So basically what I do is I put a little, uh, I put a cube on my rest meter. And now I just roll for my recoup and I'm going to get a plus one on whatever the result is. So even if I got a one, I'm still going to get something back. So it's a way to, okay, so I got an eight. So this best case scenario. So I get four back. So I can't even get four back, but now. Ooh, this is good. We can show all the, the tricks. Yeah. So now I, how do I get another token up here? Oh yeah. You're supposed to have five, right? right yeah. So here you go. So, okay. So what did I, I had two, so I get three and then I get one additional. So now I can put that additional overflow hit point onto my strength bar. So is there another one? I oh, can... yeah, I'll just make a copy for you here. Yeah. There you go. This guy right here. So cool. All right. And so this this strength bar, if you fill it up three times, you get strength for one turn, right? Yes. Is that because I've actually never accomplished that yet in, in my battles. Yes. But if, if you get all the way through. It, it's it's tough to do at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Um, so, so that's interesting. I actually, uh, Greg, I misread um, resting. I thought it gave you plus one to your die roll. Not uh, to, no, not it should, to it your should be. Yeah, I, I misread that. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. 
Cool. Well, that's cool. good. And that actually yeah. turned out to be a good role for a good turn for you. All right. Yeah. So I, I hate to uh, bring this up, but I'm going to have to do a quick bio break. Oh, yeah, no problem. So I will zip out while you uh, attack and hopefully don't kill us while I'm gone. Okay, It'll yeah, I'll, 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 try to not, I'll try not to have us die. Um, oh, Rigoroga, good to see you. Thanks for coming to the stream. Yeah, I love the art style. Um, I think that Greg's done a great job sort of doing the art direction on this, and obviously the artist that he teamed with uh, does some really neat hand-drawn characters. So I think this is super cool looking. Um, okay, so I'm going to, even when Greg's gone, I'm just going to have the twins attack us, and we'll catch him up when he gets here. So the first step is to determine who they're attacking. They're attacking me. So that's perfectly fine that, um, that he's not around. So they're attacking me, and I'm going to pull... Oh, man. This is a disaster. Well, it had to go bad sometime. Um, all right, so I pulled a six. And their action is turncoat. And turncoat is not cool. So if they roll a four through six, they get the turncoat uh, effect on one of the allies. And that would be on me. And what the turncoat effect does is it forces that ally to attack another ally. All so, right, I'm back. All right, you're back. So they, they got turncoat on me, Greg. So What, what, what happened? It, it, he, tur he, he hit me with a six. Oh, no. So I haven't rolled yet. Um, I was explaining what would happen if this turncoat uh, occurred. And so hopefully they roll low. Okay, we'll see. Um, so let's see what they do. And it's they only one die. They only roll one die for turncoat because there's not the little double, little double sword here. So let's see. A five, which is turncoat. And so I'm going to attack Greg, I believe. You are. Force ally to attack another ally with the two action. And it's no yeah. point cost for the action so let's take a look at my two which is bloodlet and i'm attacking you greg mm -hmm. come on roll a one baby oh. <laughs> all right so four damage all right oh man all right we got to put some got to put a heart on these guys this turn or else i think we're going to lose a character um, oh and then another question i had for you greg is that this um this healing cube here that's on your rest mm -hmm. meter yeah. When does it come back off the rest meter? As soon as you use it. As soon as so, you okay. oh, So what, what's going to happen is the next turn, yep. if I choose to rest again, mm -hmm. it's going to turn into a plus two. Okay. If I choose to rest again, it's going to turn into a plus three the next turn, okay. and then it, it, then it clears. Okay. As soon as I decide not to use it, it just goes away. Oh, okay. So, so next turn, if I decide to attack, that... that that counter gets cleared. Got it. Okay. So I, again, I, I was playing it wrong. I was playing it that any time I rested, any time I recouped, it would clear it. Well, okay. If, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it, that doesn't it, make sense. It, yeah. it, it, com it compounds. It right. compounds. So if you're in a really bad spot, you could just not attack for three turns yep. to get yourself, you know, hopefully full. So that you, that you could then go. Right. So what, what I try and do is try and go in tandem. Like you have a guy that's hitting hard, hitting hard, and then you have somebody resting yep. while the other guy's exerting, and you try and do kind of like a, a seesaw. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So let's um, let's take these guys down. Let's take them down big time. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna no. do a bloodlet, and then I'll rest next turn. So we're going to do two, and we're going to do, let's see, come on. Oh, man, rolled a one. All right, so I did no damage, and then I'm going to do my recoup, and I rolled a four, which gets me one of my health back. And then it's your turn. Okay, well, it's a good thing I rested last time. Um, all right, so we have... I have four hit points and I have no armor. Uh, and he has quite a bit. Yeah. He's still got, I think, all. Okay, well, I'm, 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 I'm going. I'm going all in here. So we're going to do. All right. Um, we're going to do a net snare. We're going to leave me with one bloody hit point. And I'm going to roll nice. a seven. 
Okay, so on a net zero with damage. seven, I do five damage. And no kickback, though, which sucks. So at this point, my rest meter is gone because okay. I didn't use it. Strength meter stays. And then you just recoup. Yep. Nice. Six. So I get one back. All right. So I'm sitting pretty with two hit points and right. no armor. Let's see. Oh. So, yeah. So here we are. Okay. So let's see who he's going to attack or they're going to attack. Eight. So they're going to attack mm. you. All right, so you can, could do, be the, you, you can do the honors of rolling uh, to kill yourself. This could be the this could be the end. So yeah. it's a five. A five, yeah. Um, okay, so let's get two dice out. Here we go. Three. So and three six. and a six. So he does two damage on that six. So I am dead. Ooh. So <clears throat> now we can talk about the death move. So yes. Oh, cool. An ally dies, they get this death move with the skull, and what the death move is is a three-round focus on the chosen target. And if you look at focus, you look at the next two attack cards and you place one at the bottom of the deck. So I would get to do mm -hmm. that during my upkeep phase three times, I think. Right. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So obviously, that's uh, we'll obviously give that to you. Yeah. So you can. Uh, Grab so, I mean, that's obviously going to help us. We can get rid of those sixes and fives. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to put three of these on my my guy. And then, unfortunately, we are, have to say goodbye to the Silk Weaver. Yeah. And we'll flip her over and move her off she's, screen. She's a lovely lady, but now she's dead. And then I have already scanned in uh, our next character in case we needed another character. And what we're dealing with here is Hildegard the Endrake. And she has a ferret. She does. And the ferret actually plays into, I think, some of her tricks um, mm -hmm. and attacks and stuff. So. Um, and it's. Um, and uh, during the course of the story, if you have her in play, things happen. Oh, cool. Okay. So, yeah, so I have mascots, and depending upon which mascot you have during certain battles and things like that, certain things will happen. So Sweet. All right, so we'll load her up. And like I said um, in the in the earlier part of the, the show here, there are 12. That, you, know, you would have a whole deck of 12, and you would just pull off the next uh, character or ally off that deck. Um, random randomly randomly exactly so in this case i just scanned in three um and so but i get one more armor point oh that's right yep bonus armor that's right forgot about our so th there are ways to choose the next character that you play after you've played a few times there's ways to do it okay but but for the most part it's supposed to be kind of a random draw yeah, then every playthrough feels a little bit different, I assume, and you get to play with different combinations of allies. Um, okay, so it's my turn, and I have only have two health points left. So I'm... Man, we only have to take five damage off of him? I have yep. four shields? I think I might... I think I'm going to bash and boast. Yeah, you got to. Or, I mean, yeah. And, and Because when I go... Um... I'll hit him hard. Yeah, you're gonna go all in, right? So let's yeah. let me try to at least help you out there. Roll the seven. Yeah, there we go. So that's two damage. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna recoup for nope. three for nothing, and then is this during the upkeep is where I would do the look at the next two cards? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Cool. It, it it doesn't necessarily. I mean, as long as it's prior to his turn, okay. it's. You know, it doesn't really... Yeah, I'll just do it when I remember when I'm taking those guys off. Okay, so... Oh, look at this. What do we have? Five and a... Oh, nice! <laughs> All right, so we'll put one down. I'll put the five, one of the fives down at the bottom. But the problem here is that if he pulls that five, we're going to get the five-five combo. So I, we assume, are. I assume we want to kill him right now. If we yeah, can. yeah, we need to. We <laughs> yeah, we do need to kill him right now. Okay, so okay. let's let's bail out. Let's go crazy, right? 
Yeah, that's um, that's cool that that came up. Okay, um, yeah. So we're gonna roll. Uh, we're gonna do the bag of tricks. Yeah, doing it all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Hildegard's a little bit. She's kind of a more experimental character. She's one of the kind of weirder ones, but the idea for her, I really wanted her illustration done first. So she's one of the characters I had done, just because I, I just wanted to see her so bad. Yeah. Um. But anyhow, okay, so uh, Bag of Tricks, it's a two, it's two hits, so let's just go. So a three and a two, that's really nice. <laughs> so two damage. All right, two damage. Oh, he's down to one. <laughs> he's down to one damage, and he's going to hit us. This is like, oh my God. Yeah, this, this, is, this is, is not good. This is not good at one all. One hit point. We almost made it. Uh Okay, so you can recoup. Okay. I can, yes. Oh, all right. Man. This is funny because this is okay. All right. I thought that was a sure, a sure thing. Oh man. Oh, dude, we're gonna get wiped out. Yeah. All right. So okay. So have you ever seen this? No. Happen? No. Where you get this? Okay. I haven't seen. It. I, haven't even, I haven't looked at the card either, so I don't know what occurs. No. Um, all right. So we pull a five. Um, I'm going to roll to see who he is targeting before this happens. Uh, targeting uh, Hildegard. Um, okay, so we got the double fives, and what was supposed to happen when double fives occurred is we would reveal card 24. And now we're going this to... So rarely happen. Reveal card 24. And card 24 has two potential options, it looks like. Either we got the double fives or the double sixes. And we got the double fives. So this is the double fives. That's the double sixes. All right. Unexpectedly, one of the twins impales himself with his sword. Crackling sparks and sulfuric smoke ignite from his antenna. He pulls the blade free, then flings it to his brother, who catches it. New encounter conditions. Strength and courage on every character in play. The twins now have five hit points and eight armor points. Ugh. All right, so we both get strength and encourage. Every everything in play. Oh God, gets so strength <laughs> and get strength and encourage for the entirety of the fight. Okay, so it's gonna get a little bit wild. It's gonna get ugly. Okay, so it's, we. So I'll I'll put these on. I mean, we, we we well, we're gonna remember that we all have strength and encourage, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, this is this is a. Uh... All right, so let's take a look at strength. Strength is plus one on attack rolls. And encourage is plus one attack damage, so everything gets a little bit wilder, and um, and now everyone's gonna die. Yeah, so now he has five hit points. Gosh, we got close, man. It's so funny. Yeah, we we were the hubris. We had too much confidence going into that final eight armor points. But here's the thing: everybody is more powerful. Well, you know? yeah, that's true, but they are too, unfortunately. So, so, well, did one of the twins survive, or did he die by impaling himself? He, he's, he, yeah, he's done. We're more or less, see, what I would love to do is then have you pull another twins card and just have the one twin gone. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's, I mean, it's just a matter of money, you yeah. know? Yeah, and then my, well, It'd my, be really cool. my next question is, does he still get two attacks? Yeah, unfortunately, all that uh, stuff is meant, right. is meant to stay. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's see what he does. He's attacking you. Um, yeah, it, a, it's... Uh, and uh, you can go ahead and roll those, too. For, for, for <laughs> your own death. Uh, okay, a six. So, uh, and a, a six one. and a one. So he rolled a seven and a two. All right, so that's four damage off the seven. And then the two does nothing. Wait, wait, no, it's three damage on well, the seven. Well, but it's plus one for the strengthen, right? Plus one damage? Yeah. yeah plus oh, one for damage. the encourage, excuse me. So, yeah, so it's three. Wait, no, but it turned into a seven, right? And then that's a three plus one, I thought. For the, doesn't he get plus one? Oh, damage? no, you're, I'm sorry. Yes, he gets plus one on the roll, then plus one. Yes, yeah, so it's four. So it's four damage. Yep. But the other one missed you, so you're still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay, good. We're fine. Oh, yeah. Everything's going great, going great. Uh, okay, so then he, so this is, are these his new maxes? Yes. Okay, so he doesn't recoup. Um, okay. So... That, that's, that's his, it's, 
it's basically one guy now and that okay. is what you know oh yeah because it's five health everybody gets all his armor back okay got it yeah. um all right so he doesn't recoup and now it is my turn um oh. and i have one health which is really we need to rest yeah so i'm gonna put a rest up here and then i'm gonna roll for my recoup hey so that just gets me one but i mean okay yep okay so that just gets me my one and then um, and now you got to look at his right i'll look at his action team. card and hopefully we get a, a little weak one. It was two fours. So it's, he's going to get a four next turn. Really? Yep. So that's bad news. All right. Well, you know. He might miss. It's just kind of fun because we just blew through the first two fights. Yeah, and this is like, now we're, we're going to have a little like, bit of a slog. This is like worst case scenario. <laughs> this is like happens one in 20 fights. So. Okay, so we'll, I remove my next little bonus for looking in the cards, and now you're up. All right. Um, man, we are in a, we're in a place. Okay, so um, I, I, I think I have to rest. I think so, too. All right, so I'm gonna rest, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna roll. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get three. So hopefully he doesn't knock me down too far, and I can do something next time. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, so now so it's he's gonna hit us with a four. Let's see. It's gonna be a four, but let's see who he's attacking. He attacks me. He's gonna hit us with the or hit me with a four, and a four is dual slice. All right. And we'll see yeah. So plus one, plus one. Yeah. That's a six so, and a two. So he rolled a six, which is three okay. damage. Three damage. Okay. Right. That's not so bad. All right. I mean, it's still not great, but all right. So it's my turn. I, <laughs> I feel like. I feel like I should do another rest and hope I survive the next turn. Yeah, we should try and heal up. So I'm going to increase yep. this to two. Yep. And then I roll and I get a four, which still only gets one, but I get plus two. Ah. So it brings back three. Yep. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to recoup. No, no, that was it. Oh, that was my recoup. Yeah, never. Yeah, that was it. yeah, yeah. yeah. That was All it. right. So then I'm gonna look at his cards. Yeah. All right. All right. He's got a one and a three. So I'm gonna put the three okay. on the bottom. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> this is a good. This is a good fight. I yeah, like this. this is because we're gonna get to actually see a lot of the mechanics all happen at once. This. Yeah. This is fun. Okay. So we gotta. We gotta move. So I. I I'm going. Uh, we're. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because we got the plus one plus one. Three right? or four. Yeah, yeah. So I, I can, dude. I'm doing it. Four. We're, Do the four. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah. We're going. We're going. We're going big. Okay, good. I agree. I get a plus one and a plus one. Yeah. This rarely happens. Okay, so uh, on a get... four, this is double two. Yeah. Let's get some seven. So here we go. All right, a four All right. and a seven. A four and a seven. So that's two. First, it's it's three damage and a kickback. Okay, so let me pull my kick back up, and, and we do three damage. So why don't you take those away? Yep. And then the next one was a seven, which is three more damage, four damage, and another kickback. Nice. All right, that was good. So what is he at? He has uh, one armor and five health. Okay. So you took off seven armor there. Okay, so I get a recoup. Yep. Oh, nice. There we go. All right, we're in business. Okay, so I got my that uh, my stuff back. The rest is obviously gone. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, yeah. I have six. Sweet. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm full up. Wow, that worked out. Good to go. About as good as it can kind of worked out. So 
All right, so I'm going to move because um, we don't care about these guys anymore. I'll keep moving their little row. And he's going to attack with a one. Yeah, the row's gone. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't have it happen again anyway. So, um, All right, so he's going to attack with a one. I'll just start placing him up here. Um, all right, let's see who he's going to attack. Me. Okay. And the one is his basic uh, twin punch. He's going to get two rolls. A three and a eight. So the three or, does yeah. nothing. And the nine just two. does two damage. So I lose one, one, one armor and one health. Okay. All right, we're gonna take him down. This is it, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this. I think you should. Well, okay. I'm gonna do a three. Well, you should do a two and then do a and try and have him hit himself. Okay. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, bloodlet for two. And let's see what I got. Yes. So you got an eight. So that bloodlet turns into an eight, which is three damage with a kick. It's a four damage, and I get a kickback. So I'll take out the damage, and then I get one kickback, and then I put bleeding on him. I think right. His B is bleed for one turn, so that's going to do one damage to him. It's awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to do it just because we we haven't tried it yet. I'm going to get my camera out of the way here. So we can do a brain swirl. And do I get my plus one on this roll too? Does this count? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it, it's on. Yeah, it's in a sack. It... All right. So let's do a brain swirl. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. So does that, that affects like right now or when he attacks? Yeah. No, that, that, that's. That happens right this moment. Okay, so confusion so, goes. Well, no, it's a status effect, right? So. Well, well, yeah, actually, yes. Okay, so you're right. Could we put a? Yeah, uh, I'm just too excited. I yeah, was too excited because you're gonna kill him. Yeah, we put a. That's during his upkeep phase. Yeah. All right. Okay. Way to kill my kill my buzz. There. Yeah, but we at least we got the brain swirl on him. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to recoup. And I got a four, which gives me one back. And then I'm going to look at his cards. For the last time. And it's a two and a four. So I'll put the two on top and the four on the bottom. That actually really helped us out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, and now it's your turn, Greg. All right, well, here it is. Here's the kill move. Let's do it. Big one. All right, so it's we're going to go. Again. Yep, yep, we're going full in. Just don't roll two there's... ones. <laughs> I know. There, there's no way. This is it. That would We've, be crushing. Uh... But at least we'd have it on tape if, if it happened. I know. All right. So Seven and a two. So that's an so eight, eight and a three. three and another three. Yeah, so he's done. Six damage. He's, he's done. He's done. Yes. Three, three. That was a good. That was a good fight right there. Yeah, it was that was a great fight. Okay. I'm, so... I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled with how that turned out. Yeah. That was, that so we reveal card twenty five. And then, let's see what this one has to say. I already know what it has to say. It says, the yeah. journey ends for now. Thanks for taking these first courageous steps into the spire. The road is long, the stakes are high, and your chances are grim. With your aid, the expedition can continue. And then some details, 12 chapters, 70 illustrations, 12 playable characters, 24 unique enemy encounters, 150 unique story cards, and six different endings to uncover. Look for Spires End soon on Kickstarter, and there's all of Greg's contact information, which we'll cover at the end. Um, and then uh, there's Big Bloody Sword. Uh, but we did it. That was awesome. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, it was fun. We pulled it off. Um, so, um, all right. So what everyone just saw was a, a run-through of the first two chapters of the prototype of Spires End. Chapter and a half. Chapter and a half. Um, yeah. And there are some other... Uh, enemies that that uh, Greg included, sort of as like a preview of um, of some more enemies uh, later in the game. Uh, these are the Mushroom Men, and they're uh, they're real hard. Um, and I haven't I haven't I haven't actually took them on yet, taken them on yet. Uh, but I'm going to give them a run through and just sort of see how it goes. Um, but are you going to do it? You want to fight them right now? Do, I mean, do you want to, or do you have time? Or yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's. I mean, we could try. All right, let's see how, how it goes. So the Mushroom Men have special rules, right? 
Is they it, they do. Is it is so it all three of them at the same time? No, we're only fighting one. Oh, okay, good. All right. So again, there's no attack cards for this guy. Yep. So we can just we can just move those off the board. Okay. So here's the trick. Um if we don't hit him, if we miss, it spawns another mushroom map. Oh, great. If we rest, it spawns another mushroom map. All right, so we got to hustle. I mean, it's like essentially a... It's, yeah, so it, th that's more, that's the kind of the catch to the fight. If you, yeah, if you miss or if you rest, another one shows up. And they have a standard attack. So he's going to more or less just do his little spore spray and then he's going to do a recoup that's more or less it you can get overwhelmed very quickly because there's five of them okay right. we have um <clears throat> for this fight because this is the fight immediately after the twins we now have plus one armor plus one health okay so we can spawn a new health for ourselves so yep. the, the progression would be such that we would have gotten that bonus yes right. uh Okay. Here I will bring mine up. Okay. So, so I need I need one more. Oh yeah. I'll... I guess I can do it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, um, I mean, it seems to me if we sort of chat through our strategy here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they have ten health. So looking at my attacks, because I don't want to run out of health because I can't. I can't rest, right? So you can do a recoup. You can't right, rest. Right, just can't rest. So I'll yes, have to get lucky with my recoup rolls. But I so think I'm going to start right out of the gate with a split fist. Um, you just want to do whatever attacks your best odds at actually hitting him. Yeah. Oh, well. You don't want to. Yeah, then I'm going to go all the way up to Rust Slice. Yeah, you, you need to do Cause I, I don't whatever miss. you can to hit him. Yeah. Because if we don't, another one comes out. And is, is it a, is it each time, is it that we both have to miss in order to have another one come out or anybody misses? No, any, any time anybody misses anything, another one shows up. Oh man. Oh wow. Okay. I'm going to go big right out of the gate. Yeah. You kind of have to on this guy. Yeah. I think that either, either we, <clears throat> either we kill him quick or we're just going to get overwhelmed and we're going to die. So well, and then on top of that, if he hits, he does snuff or impaired vision. So Great. those make it so you can't hit as well. Yeah, minus one in your next attack roll. Okay, so yeah. yeah, let's 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 try to let's try to get this guy. Let's try to get this guy quick. So I'm gonna attack him with a rust slice, um, and let's see what I can pull off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At least I hit him. Uh, all right, so I hit him for two. That is embarrassing. Embarrassing for me. Uh, all right. Well, we have no we have no modifiers at this point. Right. Yeah. And then I'm gonna. Well. Um, let's see. I'll recoup. There's, all, there's so many items that we just didn't see. Didn't. Yeah. Didn't see exactly. Uh, all right. My recoup is a six. I would have liked to have gotten that right out of the gate. Uh, so I get one back. Okay. All right. How about him, Greg? All right. So yeah, we gotta. All right. So the three and four are both the same i gotta do a three because i don't want to spend the four for this i just need to make sure i hit him so i'm gonna do three and hopefully we get some armor kick back going um so i had okay here we go five, all right okay. so you do three so we got a five on a three so we did three damage good and i get a armor kickback which since i have I'm at my threshold. That goes into my strength meter. Cool. And then we'll we'll just copy one, right? Boop. And that's the strength meter, right? Top one. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, okay. So now he goes, and he's going to attack me. And let's see what he does. His spore spray is going to roll a one. Nice. Which is nothing. Yeah, it's a good and start. Then let's see if he does any heal on his recoup. A three. No he heal. does not. Okay, right. good. Fantastic. All right, so he's got five health left. Um, I'm gonna do a three because I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna do the best thing I can do to try to hit him and also do damage to him. 
So yeah. split fist. Two, three. Let's get those good rolls, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So we get You missed, so we have another we have a spawn. Yeah. We have an ad. And here he comes. Mushroom Man number two is now in play. He is. Okay. And so I'm going to recoup. I can't believe that. And there I get the eight, of course. Who, progr who programmed this thing? Um, all right. So I get three health back. That's nice. This is actually, I mean, this isn't so bad for this because we already knocked down half the health on the first guy. Yeah, before the second one even showed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go get his health out here, too. Uh, okay. You're up here, Greg. All right, so... And do they have the exact same stats and stuff, or are they different? No. Oh, they're a little bit different. Okay, yep. They're a little different. So definitely the initial one is worse, right? Yes. Yeah, so I you know, yeah. focus on him. Yeah, I, I would, I'm going to go after the first one and I'm going to put, uh, I kind of have to do all three again. This is very good. It does get a little scary. Okay. So I'm going to do all three and we're going to, we're going to just go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Okay. All right, bring out another one. Okay, so let me move. Let me move this over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll for recoup, and I got two. Okay, so so we're All right. we're we're almost dead here. We got three of them. Okay. Oh. And then what do they do? They attack in order. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so this is gonna be uh, number zero or number one. He's yep, number one. You. And yeah. he is hits an eight. And, oh, great! Four damage. Four damage and impaired vision. And impaired vision. So there you go. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. All right. Impaired vision is negative one on my next attack roll. Yeah. Which is just going to make really more bad because that's going to make more mushroom men. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh man, Rigoroga! Yep. Listen, to, listen to this. I don't know if you saw this in chat. The morel is button mushroom men. Quick oyster, you're in deep shiitake. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that kind of describes it. Yeah, that's a, that's a clever. That's a clever. Somebody looked up mushroom names. If you had that on the top of your dome and came out with that into chat, very impressive. I wouldn't have known that many different types of mushrooms. Um, okay, so. Mushroom Man number two is going to attack me. Nice. And so it's not me. does two damage okay, so and two impairs damage my vision. Two damage and impaired vision. So, so we both have impaired vision. Yeah, which means we're going to get a bunch more Mushroom Men. We're going to get all of them. Yeah. Uh, okay. More or less, this is more or less a fight of how many guys are we going to lose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so then Mushroom Man number three is going to attack oh wait we didn't recoup on mushroom man number one right or did we remember no we didn't for him? no we didn't okay so mushroom man no, number one is is going to recoup and he's going to uh, nothing. okay nothing mushroom man two can't because he's full uh mushroom man three is going to attack me and he's going to uh. <laughs> oh jeez. all right four damage all right so we are in we are in uh, deep trouble. Four. Okay. I just wish we'd gotten rid of that first one before and then this stuff. He did A to me, which is dwindle. What is dwindle? Minus, Minus one, attack, one damage. attack damage. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I'm dwindled yeah. and impaired vision. Yeah, it's not. And I can't rest, good. right? So like, I have to just try to hit one of it, them. Well, you can rest, but another one's going to pop up. Yeah. Um, question just came in from so, chat from uh, Penny Anton. Uh, what chapter is this? So this is this, this is a boss that isn't. This even... is the this is the next chap. This oh, is okay. one of this chapter comes next, but there's a split. 
you can go one way or another way. So this could be your chapter three, or it could go somewhere else. Okay, cool. Things get things ramp up. This is um, those first two guys are you know, they're a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not enjoying this one nearly as much as those first two guys. So okay, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm dwindled, oh. right? So I have I have minus one attack damage. I have minus one on my rolls. I think you should do a zero attack. Even with a minus one on the rolls, though? Because the bash and boast gives me at least a four instead of a five. <sighs> to hit. But yeah, yeah, all right. You know, like... It's just, we got to clear those results. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go for it. All right, so I'm going to take one damage and... <laughs> oh we are okay so we have, a, we have a problem yeah so another one appears right yeah oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna audible and we're gonna make some more space with my little camera here we um man okay well here's the here's the good thing there's only one more of them so we can just start we can start resting and not feeling any more heat because all of the mushroom men in the uh, available area have, have rushed to their uh, yeah. friend's aid. We have a big pile of mushroom men to deal with. Uh, okay, so these go these only go away during upkeep, right? So they're still they're still yeah. around. And then I'm I going mean, to roll for upkeep or for recoup, which it doesn't affect that yeah. roll, right? No. So no. Please um, roll. Oh, jeez. That's just perfect here. Okay. Uh, well, okay. so that's my. We're turn. gonna have all. We're gonna have all five out at the same time, which I don't think I have ever had happen. <laughs> and I've, <laughs> I've played these guys a lot. Um, okay. So, I, I mean, all right. I'm just gonna instead of resting, I'm gonna roll and hope I just hit. Okay. Uh, and, a hit no you were impaired oh no was i oh it yeah. was so you missed <laughs> all right so let's so bring them all out all right let's see okay so everybody has five health we are completely overwhelmed yeah we are surrounded but we don't have to worry we don't have to worry about anything anymore now it's just figure out how I can get all these on the camera at the same time. This is a great test all around. Yeah, yeah, I can I can give us some more space, but I wanted to stay pretty close to the cards. All right, so because the fifth and final Mushroom Man is out, we have some special final encounter rules. Okay, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. He's got five, five. We actually have exhausted all of the uh, cubes that I have, so I'm going to give oh, him a, great. a gray one. Um, okay, well, so... Let's see. Final encounter rules. This is the final mushroom man. The encounter ends when all the mushroom men are defeated, your allies are all defeated, or inhale is triggered. And so inhale is a uh, thing that can happen um, as a effect on a seven or eight uh, rolled by mushroom man number five. That, Indeed. That one is really and he only, good. But he only has three hit points. Yeah. Oh, he only has three hit points. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. Okay. And same with, same with Mushroom Man number four. All right. So they become weaker as you go. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So now it's there up. Right? Because you missed. Wait, but I get a recoup. You get a recoup. Yep. Seven. Nice. We'll take that. All right. So at least I got two back. Yeah. Okay, just thank to, God. Just to get killed. Okay. By, just to get killed by a mushroom man. I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So mushroom man number one is going to attack you, and uh -huh. he's going to roll a two. So he misses. Nope. Nothing. All right. And then he recoups. And he oh, does. Oh come on. Recoup one. All right. All right. So mushroom man number two is going to attack me and kill me four damage yep that happened all right goodbye dane it was nice to know you 
Dane lasted longer than he probably should have. He, so. Yeah. So he's gone. The shell goes with him. What happens with loot? No, no. the the loot's the loot's fine. Oh, okay. It just stays with the group. Um, unless unless it indicates on the card that it dies with him. Okay. It's... Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna move. Hildegard, Hildegard picked it up. Okay. So and we'll... grabbed it real fast. Yeah. So we'll pass it over here to you. So you can still you can still shell people if you really feel like it. Um, That'd be great. I don't know why that one's sitting on top of that one. All right, so we're, that's weird. Yeah, put it. We're just gonna put it over to the side. Um, okay. All right, so then I can pick a new ally. I think it, none of the other allies have final art. Is that right? No, no, they don't. Okay, so I'll just choose one at random. Yeah. We'll, we'll bring him in. Um, of course, I made a mess. Oh, but... actually, um, just as long as it's not Gorvenal. As long as it's not Gorvenal. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of a little too experimental. Cool. Sounds good. So I'm gonna bring in. My new character is named oh, Rolf. Nice. Rolf, the Kill Crow. He's good. All right. Cool. So he comes in with just full health and armor. He's the actually the next one, the next art that's going to be made. Okay. Cool. I actually have the description. He's got a um, he's got like a giant Venus flytrap in a backpack. Okay. On him. I so like he's got it. a plant. He's got like a plant pet guy that uh, hangs out with him all right nice so i i really do like the direction you're going with kind of like the weirdness of these characters i think it's really neat like just not the standard fantasy fair you know like i really yeah. i like that goal yes uh, okay so it's he like starts a, with uh, a a bonus a bonus health and a bonus armor so he's got six and five so that's nice to start out with he's and more right. powerful than a lot so uh, okay so he's, D, he's a dps you know okay cool um, so which one killed me? Do you remember? I think it was Mushroom Man 2. Yes, it was. All right. We so have two more. So Mushroom Man, I think we have three more. Oh, we do. Yeah, this so is rough. Mushroom Man 3 is going to attack you. And he's going to, I don't think, do anything. He missed. Nah. All right. And then no recoup. Mushroom Man 4 is going to attack you. And do nothing. Missed. And All right. Mushroom just got to get through this guy. Five going to attack me and this is the big <sighs> risk right yeah this is six so he does four. four damage so we're all fine to, all to my armor all right so let's let's go off on these guys now we need to get let's get rid of the this one right four four or five yeah we get rid of five okay so i want to try to, to so, do three damage yeah don't do four because it's too much yeah so you i don't have any I'll, armor i'll do this Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't do the death move. What's the death move? From Dane. Oh, what was his yeah. Death move? Oh, yeah, we didn't. We, we need all the help we can get. Yeah, seriously. What what happens when he dies? Um, um, he luck, does luck. He gets luck three luck. on the chosen target. So you're going to be really lucky. Yeah, give it to me. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah, all right, that's helpful. So uh, luck gives on attack, roll twice, pick the best roll. Yep. So, it, you, I mean, you could do your double attack. No, you don't have enough health to do the double attack because that would be nice to get four rolls. Uh, okay, so I'm going yeah, to attack. I want to try to do three damage. So I feel like I'm going to just do a slice, which is two. Okay, yeah. That makes, yeah, that, that's, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna do two, and we're gonna attack. I'm gonna attack the real melty one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. All right, so he's dead. Good. Get rid of him. Get out of here. All right, and then I'm gonna recoup. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, Things only one. Are to so he doesn't. He doesn't heal as much. Okay. With a six. No, a... I mean, it's the same. Oh, is it? I thought it's, six. He has, he has a standard. Oh, no, it's a seven. Okay. Um, all right. Go get it. Okay, him. good. All right. So, um, hmm. all right. Well, unfortunately, I'm just going to go one. Okay. And I get a roll twice, though. 
and pick the best roll. All right. Eight. So an eight and a three. I know which way I'm going. Yeah, so you get to do two damage. Um, so we do two damage, which is great. And let's, um, I, you know, technically you're supposed to pick prior to your attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who you're going to attack. Um, I was going to go for anyhow. So. Okay. We'll take, yeah, we'll take two off that. So I'll remove my one of my Lux. And then I will do my recoup. Okay. So I got a seven. Awesome. Cool. And I get two back. Still surviving. Hildegard is just yeah. holding on here. Uh, okay, so Mushroom Man number one is going to attack me. And miss, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he's going to recoup and get nothing. Mushroom Man number two is going to attack you. Oh, three damage. All right. And A, so you're impaired. Well, I also have luck, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it evens out, I guess. All right. Mushroom Nan number three is going to attack. God, we just need to knock one more out. Yeah, me. We're... And he's going to miss. Yeah, miss. And then Mushroom Man number four is going to attack you. And come on. No. Miss. Okay. All right. All right. But he's going right. to. So he gets... we just get rid of four. Although he gets to recoup, be... right? This guy gets to recoup. Yeah. But. Doesn't get it. Okay. All right. So here's the All thing. Right. I think. Should I not attack four? Or should we just prioritize making sure mm. he dies? Uh, good question. I think, I think uh, we should get rid of him. Uh, Penny Aiton, uh question. Mushroom Man 2 needs to recoup. He doesn't recoup because he already has max health. So when they have max health, they don't get a recoup. And then another yeah. question from Rigoroga coming in. Um, does 5 spawn again if we miss? And the answer to that is no, no. right? Okay. No. There's there's uh, The way to look at it is there were 5 Mushroom Men in the area. Okay. There's, yeah, that's that's the entirety of them. Cool. Um, okay, so so we were thinking about um, how to prioritize our attacks. I mean, if we want, to just uh, I just think we need to get rid of one. Okay, so we'll make sure that that happens. Essentially, I think four has to go. Okay, otherwise this can just. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to do a prune. Uh, it, it's not as high a really? probability as the slice, but it's like I'm wasting all that damage on the slice you know yeah, but uh, it does it does add one it, it adds whatever that is i don't another, know man that's like 12 a, and a half almost percent. a 50 50 shot yeah all right all right we gotta well, get we gotta get rid of them okay all right we'll do it we'll do it <laughs> i mean it's up to you right? no we're gonna do it we'll do the slice uh it's an although extra... he has the most powerful death move in the game that okay. poison oh, is ridiculous that let's see poison three turns on a chosen target and poison does three damage one turn, oh. then two damage, then one damage. Okay, so I could like poison the the big one left and kill him essentially. Yeah, he would die. All right, so so let's do it. I'm gonna I'm going to do a slice, and we'll see. A six. Nice. So uh, number four is dead. four. Okay. Yeah. So I, I see what you mean. I know it's kind of yeah. sad. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, there are characters that do their damage to all parties. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. I have two characters that do um, they do damage to all ads on on the board. Okay, so then I recoup a five, so I get one back. All right, all right. So look, see, we're, we, we're... We, I got my one back, so I, it was worth it. Um, all right, you're up, Greg. Okay, I'm in a spot where you know I'm gonna have to rest, and I can finally rest, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, this is how it's going to be. Nice. I got a six, so I got a uh, two. Two back instead of one. All right. So that's pretty much all I can do. All right. And then um, you lose your bad sight, right? Like that goes away during upkeep? Yes, and then... that would be the... Yeah. And then do you, you lose yeah. the lock even though you didn't use it? Is that I, right? Yeah, I lose one of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see what happens. Mushroom Man number one is going to attack... You and mm. miss, and then he's gonna upkeep or uh, recoup. Sorry, and he doesn't get anything. 
All right, Mushroom Man number two is going to attack me. And oh, Lordy. All right, so he does three damage and A, which is impaired vision. I'm going to use our armor. Three damage and uh, I'm impaired. Okay. And then Mushroom Man number three is going to attack you. And Did you do his recoup? Uh, he oh, wait, no, he's right. full. He's full up. Okay, got it. And then um, he nothing. does a three, which is nothing. All right, we're still alive. Okay, I am impaired. So I feel like I should rest. Yeah, just rest. So it doesn't it get rid of the impaired. And then I'm going to roll my Rui Coup, and I get a five, which is one, so I get two health back. Okay, yeah, good, good stuff. Uh, and then I'll lose the impaired. Get rid of that. All right. All right, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to rest again. So I'm going to slide. And I'm going to roll. Ooh, there we go. Big. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I get four. And I can hold four, actually, because we have one additional. Yep, so you're all the way all the way good. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm up. So, and then we'll make a little, yep. co little copy for you there, right? So, so now if they don't knock us down, okay, yep, that's it. It's their turn. Okay, so, um, mushroom M number one is going to attack me. Come on, miss, maybe four, which is a miss. Yep. And then he's going to recoup and not hit anything. So, mushroom M number one has not been doing very much. Uh, number two is going to attack me and do nothing and number th three is going to attack me and uh hit me for one we can, we can take that um a question for from the chat about resting um penny and what rest does is it actually it increases this track here on your card from one two three and every turn that you don't attack it will keep going up um and what that means is if it's if you have it in this first slot it will add one to how much you get back from your recoup. Uh, so if you get back zero from your recoup, if you roll really junky, you'll actually still get one health back. But if you roll a four through six, it would now get two, a seven would get three, and an eight would get four. If you keep moving along this track, it becomes you get two bonus instead of one bonus, and then you get three bonus instead of one bonus. So if you rest for three full turns, you can pretty much pull all your health back in. Um, as and as hopefully as... be able to spill it over into your strength meter yep. and people have yeah and we haven't gotten anybody to max their strength meter yet um, on this play no it's more of a later on kind of thing yeah when you're doing a lot of resting um, okay so well I, have... I mean just as as you accumulate more hit points and more armor points and there are modifiers and things so you're going to start to receive more and you can pump those you know your strength meters okay um, all right, so I have three health left. I feel like I should rest again. Any attack I do is going to yeah. be so, yeah, so open. Yeah, only one. Yeah, but uh, yeah, one more time. Yeah. And then I'm going to hit hard, so. Okay, so I'm going to go to two here, and I'm going to roll, and I rolled a one, which uh, gives me two health back then. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, all you have to do is roll anything. <laughs> yeah, anything. All right. Anyhow. All right. But that's so... fine. All right. So, here we go. We I hit. am. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going all in. So we'll go four, and I'm going for number one. Yeah. Get rid of that prick. All right. Let's see. Um, the bag of tricks is coming. So four, I get to go twice. Did you Finally. lose this? Did you lose this last time? Oh no, we didn't. So we're, you're supposed to lose the luck, right? I'm pretty sure. Did, did we? Because you rolled, you yeah, lost yeah, it I, twice, so I, you would have lost the two lucks from the two rests. Yeah, I think probably. Okay. Okay. All right, so you get two rolls, right? Three, eight and a three. Eight. So that should kill him, I think. Two damage and a kickback, and three damage and a kickback. So that's five damage. Okay, two kickback. That's excellent. And then five damage. Oh, five damage. Okay, get kill, rid of him. That doesn't kill him. Uh, but you got a C on him. What's oh wait, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. He has six. Oh, okay, great, great. So I have rebuild. All right, so 
So okay, armor's just... gone. I mean, I'm um, sorry. Rest is gone. My strength will stay. Okay, good. And then I'll put three yellows. For your rebuild, right? And that, that just yeah, for my rebuild. builds back armor every turn, I think. Yeah, yep, one awesome. armor each turn. Sweet. All right, so he still has one health, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, all right, so during your upkeep, you now get to use one of those rebuilds, I assume? Yeah, I get okay. one armor. Well, I, yes, at the end of the turn. I, well, okay. first I'm going to roll for my recoup. I'm going to get nothing, and then I'm going to get one armor back. Cool. And then I'm going to take this guy off. Okay. All right, so Mushroom Man number one <clears throat> is going to attack me. Uh, two. two. Two damage and impaired vision. Just this is the hardest... Uh, this is the hardest time I've ever had with these guys. Okay, and then mushroom. Oh, and then he's gonna recoup, and he's gonna actually get one back. Dude, I want him gone. Yeah, I know. We gotta kill that guy, the grandpa. All right, so uh, mushroom man two is going to attack you, and he's gonna miss. And mushroom man three is gonna attack me, and he's gonna miss. All right. All right. So my impaired vision is gone. I forgot to pull that off on my last up. Oh, no, I just got another one, didn't I? I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, re I'm resting again. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I think I am, okay. yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's not bad because... Wait, are you up to three or are you on two? I'm going to be on... Th I would go to three. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to rest here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. You get six. Six back, so... So that, that's two, three, and then four or five. Do I put all of them on my meter? Yeah, so well, four, okay, five, so this is, this is where it comes in handy. Now, you put all three of them on, four, five, so six. that means that you're going to get strength plus one on your next turn. So Sweet. now you add that. All right, so I take that off. I can put a little bonus strength yep. on my next turn. There we go. And then um, I lose my bad yep. blue, and now it's your turn. Nice. That's the, see, that's that's how that was the mechanic supposed to work. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, um, I out. need to get rid of that guy. Yeah, take out the um, yeah so I'm gonna do three just because I, I want to overcompensate if I can. Um, okay, take him down. Wait, what did? Oh yes, I had armor. Okay, seven. All right, so he's way dead. And, you and get I an get armor. another armor, yep. so I will take my armor. I'll put it. Um, ah, yeah. Do I want to do that? See, I could put it in my strength mirror if I wanted to. But I okay. No, I better keep it. You're allowed to put it on the strength meter. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought you had to. You always had to do overflow only. Is it only if you've maxed mm. it going over the top? I, this is one of those things where I have to actually consult. The yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no. Question from chat. Um, the health cap is five. Uh, you're right. But we are playing these mushroom men. Um, Greg sort of set up our characters as if we had made it to the mushroom men. And if we had made it to the mushroom men, we would have had... This little this card yeah. down here. Actually, we should mark it. Yeah, we should mark it. I'm gonna put it back down there. We, we have now. a we have a plus one health for each of our characters yeah. and a plus one armor for each of our characters. So it's almost like leveling up as you go through the spire. Yeah. Um, so we would be at plus one health, plus one armor, and that's like just a plus one on their caps. So I'm gonna mark this as a plus one health as well. Yeah. There we go. Um, just so we can be fair. Um. Okay. okay. So as far as that rule. I think you are actually right and not yes. wrong. Yes. I think it's only if you go over your max. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. Okay. I think you're right. All right. So you have to take that. Yeah. I took it. Shield, That's fine. And then you're upkeep, good. upkeep. You get another one for your rebuild. Wait, what? Uh, you in your upkeep. Oh, you're gonna yes. Get yes. I already, I already grabbed one. Oh, okay. So this okay. goes away. All right. So you're oh, wait. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. I took one kickback um, armor, right, and then I needed another one for my rebuild. Great, yeah. Sweet. All right, so you're okay. in good. You're in good shape, um, and I'm in okay shape. I think we might be able to close these guys out. Um, five, good, good uh, last words out of me there. We're just going to totally fail right now. Um, all right, Mushroom Man number two is attacking me. Uh, 
two damage two. and impaired vision. And that of impaired vision has been the bane of our existence. Yeah. All right. So I'm impaired again. Uh, okay. And then Mushroom Man number three is going to attack me and oh, kill me. Are you done? Four damage. Oh, dude. So wait, how many guys have we lost? We've lost two? Uh, yeah, we've lost Dane and now <sighs> Rolf. All right, so he so, dies. Wait, how many guys during this playthrough? We so, didn't lose anybody during... Yeah, we just lost two. We've lost um, okay. those two starters. So just so you know, the way I've set up the mechanics is on average, it's a 50-50 shot of losing one guy on each fight. Mm. So technically... We're about average then, right? We're about average for yeah. where you would be. Okay, so we lose Rolf, but he can poison, right? Yeah, yeah. So he gets to poison on a chosen target for three turns, which means that target is going to die in two turns. Because it will do it will do three, then two, then one. Yeah, so it will so he'll die in two turns because it'll be three well, unless he recoups. Um yeah. all right, so we'll do I'm just gonna put it on is there any disadvantage? Is anyone better than the other one? I don't think these guys are mm, one good. has impaired vision and one has dwindle. Okay. Um I would rather get rid of impaired vision. Yeah, I agree. All right, so I'm going to put on the impaired... I'm going to poison the impaired vision guy. So I'm just going to put three red cubes on him. And then Rolf... R.I.P. Rolf. I'm going to hide him over here with our in our graveyard. And then I'm going to pull another ally. Let's see who we get. Okay. And that's the kind of the hand scanning uh, everybody who's watching. You can just sort of grab cards and lay them on the pink sheet and then scan them in. Uh, so who we picked yeah, it, it's was, awesome. it was Kriya. Um, is that how you pronounce it? Kriya? Kriya? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I think it's however you want, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's our, uh, that is our, uh, it's the town whore. Oh, okay. So she does some cool. Oh, she does a strip tease, a scissor kick, and the tongue. Whatever that, whatever yes. that move happens to be. Um, okay, so cool. And she will start with six and six. So get her all set up. And that was the last action. So she's acting. And we can take these guys down. I think we can do it this turn, don't you? Think? Yeah, I think we're finally. Oh God, we. Hope... Wait, what did um? Okay, you already you okay. You marked the poison. Okay, yep. good. Yeah, he's poisoned. So yeah. so as long as we hit him a little bit, he's gonna die this turn. Yeah, yeah. We're 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 over the hill here. Yeah, a little bit dicey there for a bit. All right, so she's yeah, it was rough. Six. It was a bad start. She's at six and six. So I'm going to. I think I want to do. I'm going to do a strip tease. I'm going to do a strip tease. And I'm going to attack Mushroom Man number two. And if I hit him, oh, you don't have much health, do you? Uh, I'm just thinking about what you're going to do. Um, um, well, I'm, going, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do my spike sling. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to hit. So you should hit the other guy and, and let I me should, hit the poison guy. Yeah, and I'll and I'll I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, try yeah, to, yeah. try to hit him hard. So I'm gonna do four. Um and hopefully take take him almost down to death. So there's four. And let's see. Come on now. Yes. That's five damage. Five, she's done. Killed him. All right. So it's just yeah, all right. So that's that's the end of that guy. I don't get a kickback. She doesn't. Oh, she has some kickbacks only on eight. All right. So and then I'll do my recoup, and I get nothing, and you're up. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna do one. Just do the spike um, sling. My spike sling. Um, let me just make sure that I'm on one die. Eight. Nice. Two damage. Two damage. Okay. I'm just gonna leave him to die if he doesn't recoup, right? So. All right, let me do my recoup. Oh wait, what? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. What was my marker? That's a rebuild. Oh, it was my re okay, great. Your third rebuild. Oh, yep. what? What? I didn't even see my roll. I think what was you my rolled roll? a seven. You rolled a seven. Okay. Okay, great. 
So, okay, I'll get my rebuild and, and then I'll we, take yeah, two. Yeah. Sweet. All right, yeah, we're we're And for those in chat, there. if you didn't notice, if you open up the drawer, you can see the last roll. So, we'll okay. have we'll have a little roll log in there. We only show the last one right now. There'll be a roll log eventually. For that exact we have that exact we had that exact same situation in a competitive game and uh, I had to go back and look at the recording and I found out that I lied and cheated. Um, but uh but, but uh, okay, so Mushroom Man number two is up, and unless a, a real weird disaster happens, I think we got him. He's gonna target you and do two damage. Two, fine. And impaired vision, and then he's gonna recoup, and he recoups none, and then he dies from the poison. All right, three damage that, on the first poison. There we go. We did it. Woo! Just. Burn in hell. <laughs> Burn in hell, Mushroom Man. That was a pretty that was a dicey fight. But we ended up yeah, was... oh, we ended up you lost one, I lost two. So we lost three total characters. Yeah, that's uh yeah, it was tough. Cool. Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I lost Rolf and Dame, right? So let's mm -hmm. see. Here were our uh this is our, our graveyard. We can bring back our bring back our characters. All so right. so technically that's three that would be three chapters of guys plus we had the trash mob so you have 12 guys you have 12 chapters we lost three on three chapters so it's basically if we kept going like that you have one guy at the end yeah so that's so. that's you, you you probably want to try to survive a couple of chapters yes. get ahead of that average right so yeah yeah yep. that's cool awesome so this was great greg i think it played really well um I am very excited for this game, and I hope that you hit that August timeline to get it up there on Kickstarter. Um, are there any things that you want to plug? Locations people can find you. You know what? Um, what, what for the for the folks viewing? Where where should they search you out on the internet? Um, I have a kind of a blog website set up at just spiresend.com. Cool. So that would be the best place because it my Instagram is on there. And um, I set up a Facebook group, but I haven't really done anything with it. Um, and it's just, yeah, Spire's End. Okay, so cool. if you just look up Spire's End on Facebook, there's a Facebook group there. That's It's open to the public, but I haven't I haven't really focused on that much. All right, cool. So um, but I, mainly Instagram and the website are the two places. Sweet. And um, then do you have a mailing list or anything like that for people to jump on for news? Or is it yeah. just, okay, cool. Yeah, you can you can sign up on the on the website to um, be informed whenever, um, you know, I move on to the next stage here. Sweet, awesome. Um, and then it, we, if there are any questions out of chat, kind of um, shoot them our way right now. We'll kind of hang out for just a minute or two um, and see if there's anything that comes in. Um, what did you think about playing it on Vorpal? I thought it was great. I had, I had a blast, really. I was uh, I was just happy that you know some of these mechanics came in, and you know the first two, the fights weren't really quick, so I was kind of worried. It's like, oh, if they all go like that, that's not gonna work. But then it actually went the exact opposite. So yeah, I, I, I it the, the game I thought worked really well on here. It was um, I don't know. I it's been two years of me messing with this thing, and I was still having a good yeah. time. And 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 with this program, I thought it worked. Um. I really like how I mean, just use it, the use or the ease of using the markers and um, how quickly you can scan everything in. I, I don't know. I think it's really impressive. Yeah, we um this one this one you never know. Like every game's a little bit different in terms of how well it plays. You know, like uh, certain mechanics aren't as clean, but um, stuff like moving around tokens and rolling dice and stuff is kind of sweet spot for us. So um, I was expecting Spire's End to play pretty well, and it um, I think it did. So. Um, but um but no that's great thanks so much for coming on uh i am super like i said i'm super excited for the game so i will be staying uh tied to the hip with your news updates and um you know as you get closer let me know if there's anything else that we can do to to sort of promote your stuff um a question from rigoroga any print and play demos available and are you still published are you sending that one out or are you kind of limiting that how are you doing that um, I'm happy to send out another print and play if they want to give it a shot. Okay. Um, so... Just um, have whomever just hit me up through the website. Cool. Um, I have that. Just yeah, just mention that you had um, you'd watched and you wanted to do the print and play, and I'll I'd be happy to send it 
their way. It's a little bit of work. I mean, you can see what's involved. There's a lot to print out. But yeah, I actually um, did. I have I have my print and play here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Um, but it, it's it's almost identical to this. Were there any? There were some rule book changes, right? Is that is that right between the print and play and, and this version? Uh, it's very minor. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, at this point, it's this. Well, at this point, it's the same. Okay, they've cool. been they've been yeah. unified or whatever. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it was a little bit of work just to cut everything out, but um, but then yeah, I can, I can play it totally perfectly. Um, that when I first played it, that's how I did it. So, um, Riga Roga, just reach out uh, via the website. Um, uh, cool. All right. Well, everyone in chat, everyone who is watching this, um, thanks for hanging out. We are going to be streaming tomorrow um, evening. We're going to be playing a tabletop role-playing game called Solar Echoes. Um, I'm going to be GMing that game, which is uh, my debut uh, GMing a role-playing game. So if you want uh, to come and watch me be very uncomfortable on camera, um, that'll be for you. It's tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. It'll be the first role-playing game we've done in Vorpal. Um, so we're excited about um, trying that out. And um, then we will next week be getting back into some more standard stuff, maybe Gloomhaven, maybe Root. So if you're interested in those games, definitely come and check us out next week. Um, as usual, find me at vorpalboard.com, uh, at vorpalboard on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere, everywhere you can think of. And check us out on Kickstarter. Uh, Greg, thank you so much for coming on the show and, um, everybody will see you next time. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Thank All you. Right. Good night. All right.